guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 2 of season 2 of Miss Kobayashi's May Dragon. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. There we go. No, I died. Mm. Oh my god, damn it. I didn't think we would have found that out so soon. I'm thinking like last week I was like, yeah, by four or five weeks into the show, we go and find out. No, they was like, here, episode two. <laughs> Why? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Peace and joy. You really had to do that. Hopefully. Well, honey, you're in a towel. If you would have told me that Kana and Irudu, who basically they're seiyus from Slow Start, would have worked together in this show, I probably would have listened to you like you were nuts, but I'm so happy that this is happening! Mm -hmm. I, I just think you gotta get to know her better a little bit more. Mm. I just hate when that happens. It feels like you didn't get any sleep. Hmm? Oh, Kana! <laughs> Hi, honey! Oh. <laughs> That's my Kana!
Poor baby. Yes, let's go. <laughs> Just don't reveal all your feelings, you know, Kobayashi. I mean, damn. Oh. Oh, God. You don't have a penis anymore. <laughs> but Oh. Well, currently right now she's in trouble. This might be the one time where Iduru might have to rely on Kobayashi. Excuse me. No, you might run into her. Mm -hmm. But she's not a beast. Stranger 
So, okay, explain. Why are you so dangerous? Why did? Why is he here? I mean, he had to kill you, but what did you do? But, <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, what exactly did you do or someone else you did because of you? You know, you can play with Kana and do what <laughs> freaking Toru and Kana did last time and almost killed each other, which was fun, though. Right. Mm. <laughs> Tara was like, hold up. Holy shit! <laughs> oh, oh. D did we have to do that? Oh, okay. I thought you killed him. Oh God. <laughs>
Is it in here? Oh! Well, cause she feels like it's her fault! Oh. Hi, honey! <laughs> That's another dragon for the harm. <laughs> Come on, no, Tori, like, hey, on this bitch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. Well, she's still baby. I mean, she ain't like kind of baby, but you know, she precious. No. Oh my god. Please don't. Hmm? Mm hmm And you need clothes. She knows she fucked up. <laughs> oh! She's so cute. Oh my god. Oh, we know, Toru. We know. <laughs> yeah. I, no. No. No! Yeah, see, we about to go into big boob struggle territory. God, I know that feeling too fucking much because everything you wear looks fucking sexual and you're like, no, I'm not trying to make it sexual. <laughs> kind 
has a kid. She's a student. No, no, no. Yeah, you're not a kid. You're more like a... Yeah. So, you need a job. <laughs> Thinking. Do you? Okay, what's up? Ha! <laughs> I mean, besides, does she still even have a Venus? I mean, you know, it, it should be gone by now. <laughs> I can't imagine, you know, being in love with someone and then finding out someone else is also in love with the person that you're in love with. Oh, God. Talk about love triangles. <laughs> but once again, it do baby is so fucking precious. Like, oh, my God. Just I, I now want more scenes between her and Kana so that I can get my slow start feels because, of course, both Seiyus was in fucking slow start. I just don't remember who I think it is character who she played was the girl with the orange hair was the taller girl we all know who kind of say who played precious baby love her too because <laughs> she clearly looks like Kana in slow start so, <laughs> so something tells me maybe I can see Edity possibly looking working at a convenience store or um just a regular store I mean but it seems like the guy who's in the opening with her in that little segment part where she's like a cheerleader and such she's gonna meet up with him I don't think they're gonna live together because uh, well no fucking Loka lives with Shota so <laughs> yeah You seriously want to sleep in the closet? Aww. I I'm ready to just see what a Libra... Who is... Well, let's see. If for a Libra, it either needs to be Loka, because Loka is best fucking girl, still one of my best queens, like, mm. But something might tell me we might get, like, a do Maybe. I don't know. We, we just... We gotta wait. The day when I see Libra is the day I'm gonna freak out. Okay. But either she's going to possibly live with that boy, even though we have not seen him yet and such, or they're just going to be really good friends, co-workers, something. I don't know yet. I mean, because from the opening, we know nothing, of course. But <laughs> um, I'm glad she's okay. I'm glad that she's going to be staying with Kobayashi, Toru, and Kana, even though, you know... Toru felt some type of way because, you know, jealous girlfriend much. I mean, not even jealous girlfriend because technically, you know, <laughs> I think we all say this, like, you know, Kobayashi and Toru are somewhat married and such. And so even if it's not like, oh, we have wedding rings and shit like that to say, oh, hey, we're a couple and it's like that. We're, they're still married. I don't give a fuck about what y'all say. They are married and they belong together. But I do love seeing Toru get upset slash jealous over him <laughs> because it's so cute. And of course, she's never really had to fight with someone to get Kobayashi's attention. Yeah, a little bit of Kana, but I mean, because it's Kana. You can't fight with Kana. Kana is adorable. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Kana's too fucking adorable. Kana's always gonna win because it's Kana. Child. A 
child will win over you. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. And even though, like, Itadu is, like, around the same age as Toru, but she still looks like a little kid, especially when you look at her. She kind of looks more like... She gives me, like, angsty teen vibes, you know? Like, when when we were all, like, teenagers and we were rebelled against our parents and it's like that. Some of us still going through that phase even in our adulthood. <laughs> And such, and we don't really want to hear anything our parents say. It's just like, oh no, it's our way or the highway. Like, mm. but I mean, she's still adorable and such. I'm glad also, um, dude didn't take her, who kind of gave me like Kine vibes from the Fate series. His say you kind of sounded like him, a teensy weensy little bit. Hell, I love the fact that you know, Kobayashi used the damn, um, freaking oh my god, what the hell is that thing called? The, 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 uh, the alarm thingy, because, like, I have, we've never seen that in an anime before, but it's like, mm, yes, Shade to Danger right here, game, please. <laughs> fucking hilarious, but if it was me, you know, uh, you know, pepper spray, some mace, maybe a taser, you don't want to kill him or her, you just want to, you know, distance yourself, you know, and be like, yeah, yeah, I got this, you know, you afraid now? <laughs> Even though, yeah, yeah. Be safe out there, everybody. That's all I'm going to say about that. But this is a really good episode. But yeah, something just tells me, you know, Editor's going to be here for maybe a little while until she says, like, oh, hey, I want to move or something like that. Or she might meet up with the guy who's in the opening with her. Who freaking knows? But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode two of season two of Miss Kobayashi's May Dragon. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. Really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode three. Bye, guys.